For more debates, updates, and bonus clips, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I mean, I have to say that I think Jesus had something to do with that, that improvement and that we haven't yet lived, managed to live up to any of the things that he said about it. Uh, so I don't, I mean, religion, yes, okay, there is a very ambiguous phenomenon, but if, if the religion is about the person who taught something like the Sermon on the Mount, we've got a pretty improved I'm happy morality. to accept that. I think he was okay. a very clever man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and a very good man and a good man but and not perfect so for me goodness <laughs> is a quality of the universe that is to say that not that the universe is all per perfect I don't mean that I mean that the mm. obligation to seek goodness is is a fact about the universe and I can't put that into um, a physicalist uh, account of the universe so I can't see how it would fit whereas well if I can introduce the word God at last <laughs> um, I think if you if you had some, the mind of God or the mind of the creator then um, the obligation to achieve true goodness not some arbitrary command mm -hmm. that God made up uh, that obligation would fit into a picture of the universe as founded on a morally um, obliging reality which would be a mind and it wouldn't be a brain I mean nobody thinks there's a cosmic brain so I think if you're wanting to rule out the idea of God by definition by saying well there couldn't be such a brain um, I agree there couldn't so that comes down to the question just as a thought experiment well could there not be a mind which did not like human minds depend upon the good functioning of a brain, and I don't see why not. Well, all right, I, I'll go along with you on that and say, all right, I, I don't think I can offer an a priori knockdown proof that there couldn't be a disembodied mind, but I don't see how a disembodied mind of God could ground morality at all. Why, why should we care what a disembodied mind thought we should do? I mean, if I tell you, Lucille says that you shouldn't do that. Well, who's Lucille? Right. And if, in fact, <laughs> what could matter more than what we, we human beings, after careful consideration and in concert, what we decide, this is what's worth living for. Why doesn't well, that, what, okay. what could trump that? Oh, I think, I think God could trump that. Oh, how? If Lucille <laughs> uh, was actually perfectly good, herself and created us and had a purpose for us which would fulfill everything about our lives um, then if Lucille said do this we'd say that's probably well, yes uh, indeed but that <laughs> makes Lucille you've just defined the answer this is no <laughs> you've you just helped yourself to a problem solver by defining it as a problem solver well yes but I didn't make this up it's been around for since well, the somebody dawn of the made human race well, <laughs> <laughs> yes but it, but the idea of God is like the idea of um, a quantum reality somebody made it up but that doesn't mean that it's not true Thank you.